Today we're talking Monique, funeral arrangements, and Will Smith. If these are things you'd like to hear, stay tuned. Welcome back, YouTube family. My name is Monica and I'm your hostess for We The People TV 2022. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks for your support. What time is it? It's time to... So we're starting off with some good news. If you haven't heard, Monique received an apology from her longtime friend, Lee Daniels. Yeah. Um, Lee Daniels surprised Monique at one of her stand-ups um, over this past weekend and um, gave her a public apology. Let's take a listen. So yeah, big ups to Monique. Yeah, well, that's the way you do it. <laughs> On to Will Smith. Okay, so before the Oscars fiasco and since, many have um voice their opinions regarding Jada as being the reason for Will's actions. And they said if, if it's not corrected, that she will also be the reason for his professional demise. So I posed the question to the juror. Do you think that this is true? Here's what they had to say. You comment below. The majority said no. However, I disagree. I said she will be. In my opinion, it's just based on everything that has come out since the infamous slap. Um, there are just several concerns I have about Jada's... Um, influence on her husband i don't even know if, if influence is the correct word to use but that's what i'm using for right now but i think that um will is going to be chastised severely behind this um and just today which is friday uh something came out which i'm gonna also do a segment on, but something came out today about Will being banned. So yeah, I think that um, he needs to get therapy, which I did read or I saw somewhere where he has um, checked into some facility for help. I also saw a post where Jada put she's here for the healing, which is good, but Jada, I think you need to accompany your husband. I think you also need uh, therapy. Um, it's something in that marriage that's not quite working. Um, I don't want to say properly, but it's some things that's going on, I think, in that marriage that need to be ironed out. Um that's just my opinion <laughs> i am nobody but yeah so the next question um is in addition to the will smith fiasco i posed the question to the jury have you ever made a mistake that cost you your job here's what they had to say what about you have you lost a job behind a mistake you made comment below the 
response was slight 50-50. So here's some comments from the jurors. Alexis says, I left marinara in the microwave at Subway. Uh, Tyne says, for me, it was not one time mistake, was not a one time mistake, but more so an ongoing half assing of a particular task. And I think Gloria wins because she commented, I was fighting at work. Go on, on Layla Ali. Fighting on the job. Who won? No, but, um, so my question, me, my answer will be, I think it's yes. I think I, I don't know if I made a mistake. I can't. Well, I won't quite say I made a mistake, but then again, I guess the kids say yeah. So yes, I have lost a job from making a mistake. What about you? Have you made a mistake that cost you your job? I'm just tongue tied today. I can't talk normally on under normal circumstances. I can't talk in double so. Now, tongue tied. So, yeah. What? On to what was released today. The Oscars uh, banned Will for 10 years um, from attending the Oscars. 10 years. So, yeah, I posted about that and asked, did, did you agree with this? And the majority said no and my comment about it is or my thoughts about it is i think they're making will smith an example <laughs> they're letting uh us niggers know you cannot come to the oscars treating it like it's the source awards which i don't know what the source awards is but i hear people say that so yeah they're nipping that in the bud they say make sure y'all ain't coming up in here doing that do you understand, y'all? Y'all tails in check. <laughs> so yeah, they nipped it. They said we're gonna make an example out of him. We don't care how many memes he done made. We don't care how nice he done been. We don't care. And that just goes to show you what they think of us. Yup, that's it. Comment below what you think. There was a video trending this week of a deceased rapper who had a public viewing at a nightclub with a surcharge of $40. I posed the question to the jurors, is this appropriate or not? Here's what they had to say. You comment below. There was a 50-50 split with this one. Um, some seem to think if it's his party, he have it the way he wanna, and then Summer's like, no. Initially, I was like, no. But the thing that came to mind for me was the song by Three Six Mafia. I don't know if y'all remember back in the day. I'm like a rap head. I like rap songs. But they had a song that's called Posted Up in the Club. Some of my body from side to side. And I thought, they took that literally, didn't they? They posted his body up in the club. <laughs> So, yeah, what do you think about it? So, I did hear, however, that um, in the United States, we don't, uh, we don't necessarily do public viewings like that. Although, I heard when COVID first hit that people did have to uh, view bodies from afar and, like, uh, like do drive drive throughs So, yeah, in other countries, they, this is like a thing, you bury the person of uh, how they or what they love or if they have a hobby or whatever like you this is what they do so apparently this, this is a thing who knew i didn't ain't nobody told me nothing what did you think so let's try a little audience engagement if we will y'all remember back in the day lemon heads red hots and stuff like that what was your favorite? Take a look at this. Choose one, two, or three. Comment below. Thank you. What's trending this week? A sailor comes home and finds his wife in bed with another man. 
He shoots him three times and kills him. I pose the question to the jury. Should he be convicted? Here's what they had to say. You comment below. Brenda said yes. I agree. Man, you know you can't be going around here shooting folks, man. Um, I want to say that the wife thing she did was train the order said she's scared for her life. Well, you better be. I'm surprised he didn't shoot her. So, yeah, what did you say? Have you subscribed? Give us a big thumbs up.